Okay, so let's solve this basic equation. This is called a linear equation because there's one variable. Technically, it's a linear equation of one variable because there's only one variable that appears. We call it a multi-step linear equation because it's going to take me multi-steps, many steps to finish it and complete it and solve it. Um, the idea is based on the fact that you have in a single variable here, um, and there's no exponents on that variable, like it's not y squared or anything like that. So it's a nice basic linear equation. Um, the idea is to get all of the, uh, the variable terms, which are the terms with the variable. So like negative 4y, I want to get all of the terms that have variables on it to the left and all of the, the constant terms, just the numbers on the right. So I'm going to show all my work. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is get this negative 4y and bring it over here to the left side so that I have all my um, terms with variables, you know, on one side. So in order to do that, if I'm moving something across the equal sign, I have to do an inverse operation. So if this is a negative 4y, I have to add it. And whatever I do to one side of an equation, I have to do to the other to maintain the balance. Okay, so um, the reason that works, you don't have to do the line or anything like that, but I'll do it for this example. Um, that crosses out there. That's going to give me that negative 6 by itself because negative 4y plus 4y is 0. So I have negative 6 left. Then I have 5y plus 4y, which is going to give me 9y. And then I have to bring down the rest of the equation on that left side. So now my little equation simplifies to 9y plus 12 equal to negative 6. Now, what I said initially was to get all the variable terms on the left. And then all the constants, right? This is the constant. It's just a 12. So this needs to move over to the right-hand side of the equation. And in order to do that, I have to, again, do an inverse operation. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. Because plus 12 minus 12. A positive 12 plus a negative 12 is 0. And these will combine because they're like terms. I'm going to go back to blue here. I have 9y left on the left. <laughs> this is canceling bring down my equal sign, and then these are like terms, so I can combine them, negative 6 minus 12. So um, sometimes, like, negative numbers uh, give people a hard time. If they do, you can think about it as money. Like, if you owe $6 on your credit card, but you spend another 12, that means you're going to owe more. So I'm going to have a negative, and I'm going to owe a total of 18. Negative 6 plus a negative 12 is negative 18. Um, now I'm not done. I'm almost done. I'm going to bring it up here so I have more space to continue. So here I am at this point. And I'm going slowly. You know, after you practice enough of these, you'll get faster and faster. Um, now I have 9 times y is equal to negative 18. So if I want to isolate y, which is the goal, we're trying to find what y is. Um, if I have 9 times y, the inverse operation for multiplication is division. So because 9 is being multiplied by y, because that's what this is saying mathematically, I'm going to divide both sides by 9. And the reason that works, I'm going to go back to blue, is because 9 divided by 9 is 1. And technically, this becomes a 1y, which is just y. That's exactly what we want to isolate that variable, bring down my equal sign. And then I have negative 18 divided by 9. That works out nicely, even if it doesn't um, work out as nicely. You still, um, you still leave it as a fraction form unless you're approximating, but you would simplify the fraction if you can. In this case, I can divide that and get negative 2. So my answer is y is equal to negative 2. If I want to make sure that this is correct, I can always plug it in and verify that both sides give me the same number because um, that's basically what the solution should do, allow a true statement here. So if you ever want to check your answer, you just plug it in and make sure it works and gives you a true statement.